We've been tied up in Reback Marina, Malaysia to complete a few repairs and some simple preventative maintenance jobs to the motor. Our old engine mounts were flaking away in rust and we wanted to install a new Sigma Drive coupling as an upgrade to reduce any further noise and vibration. My predicted three-day job turned into an adventurous 12-day ordeal, but with everything installed and now complete, we can finalise the last of our tasks and get back out to sailing. Job, Mum. Well done. Is there any stickers left, Benita? Any minute now. Oh, such good dad jokes, Luna. Okay. Good dad jokes. Wow, nice shoes. Yeah. Are they your shoes? Yeah. Where'd you get them? I went with Dad's shoes. You just picked them up off the ground, didn't you? Yeah. Are they Mama's? Yeah. You know they're on the wrong feet too. No, it's just Doesn't matter, eh? Yeah. Ah, well, good stuff. Yeah. Plain skin. Part of renaming a boat is that you have to get rid of all the old names on the boat, so. How many remnants? Yeah, any remnants of the last names needs to go. Goodbye. Good riddance, independence. Hello, Nanji. Choo. nine days it took me to change those mounts that was worth the whole time of the extra two and a half weeks stuck in the marina man that thing is purring you see that like is the engine even moving man you can just feel the bit of like the vibration so those mounts are just operating so good good on the alley bojan if you want engine mounts go check them out i'm putting a link in the description because i'm frothing right now and then sigma drive yeah, the boys. Did you see how they that sharp? The sharp wouldn't even move it. You couldn't even tell that that was actually spinning, eh? Like, perfect alignment. Yeah, the Sigma Drive. Best upright you can do. All right. How is it out here? Oh, it's pretty quiet, actually. <laughs> so you can only hear the whistle of the turbo, eh? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's like we're doing eight, eight point three knots. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Man, for sure, at one stage when I was snapped the first bolt and was stuck trying to pull one out with extractors and snapping extractors in holes and stuff, trying to change the engine mounts, I was really doubting it. But look at it now. Nancy 2.0. Let's go, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's always worth it when you, when you finish those jobs, when jobs are done. Oh, the biggest rewards, that's the thing about sailing, low lows, you get super frustrated, you get real down, you start moping around and I get really, I'm very, my emotions are very attached to how the boat is feeling and, and how she's doing and if she's working. If the boat's working, I'm frothing! If the boat's not working, I'm like a moping around all depressed and sobby <laughs> but man completing upgrades like this and finishing it off and then going out and feeling the reward the highs of sailing yeah the boys can i just add that while yosh has been working on the motor i've been working on my motor ah, have you seen the gun show around no, no, because this boat's so much bigger and everything's harder and like furling in the head sail is like a really hard task to do now and so I need bigger muscles so I got him at the gun show! Oh, Des and Troy! Hello ladies! Bye. Yeah the boys, yeah the gals! <laughs> so Dad just does the captaining now, Tallulah does the steering, Benita does the grinding! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Going through all the systems means going through all the plumbing, all the power, both the heads, 
and it's always going to be the thing that's going to go wrong is the heads and there's two toilets on this boat uh, one is a, a manual pumping one up the front uh, which is in the wet room and this is a thrown at the back here in our little ensuite but it's an electric toilet um, we had an electric toilet on Nanji which is awesome so I really want it to work but it's currently not working and I was hoping it was just going to be something simple but uh, it doesn't really look like it's just a switch so I think it's the motor which is probably cooked out um, but that's a good thing about buying a boat from someone who cares about the boat beforehand because there is some spares and I feel like this motor on this toilet hasn't worked for a while because it's not often you carry a whole spare motor for a toilet around is it especially an older model toilet so uh, I found a brand new motor for our old toilet um, which I guess the previous owner wanted to install but just never got around to it because it is one of those jobs might get poo on me I think I'm accepting that at the moment before I do go pulling that pump off the back of the toilet I wire in this other one just to make sure that the switch is working and that this pump I'm going to install does work before I start playing around with poo particles. Just double check that the, this one doesn't work and it's not just a power issue. I can feel it ticking on the pump so I feel like it's probably just dirty brushes or something because I can feel power going through to the pump. But we got a new pump, so we just put a new one on. What's a bit of poo, eh? What's a bit of poo between friends? She works. Now we just have to figure out where the water's coming in from, because it's not coming in. to spare this afternoon. Lulu isn't having a nap so this could either go really well or really badly but we found a wildlife park with lots of animals so we're off to go and have a look. to start our passage over to Pankor Marina. So we're just gonna head over to a little anchorage over here called Singer Passar and uh, just do some swimming and some water activities and relax a little bit and enjoy boat life for the afternoon. Um, and we'll be nice and rested and ready to go tomorrow. We're just picking up the anchor now. Y'all good? Yeah. So in Malaysia you have to do port to port clearance. So all we've done here is uh, cleared out of this port, not Malaysia, um, and then we're going to go to Pankor and clear in with the harbour master and everyone over there as well. The thing about anchoring everywhere in Langkawi is that the bottom is a really thick grey mud. It's so bad for your anchor chain. It destroys any sort of galvanise, galvanising on your anchor chain. It just sticks and like it's really stinky. 
Yeah. So you don't want to pick it up and stick it in your anchor well with all that mud on it. And we don't have a bow deck wash. Our bucket's lost a handle. And it's just gained a new and one. I just got a new one. <laughs> Swimming this afternoon? Gonna do some swimming? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna do some swimming. Got your new goggles? Yes. Yeah, so you can see all the fishies on the water? Yeah. <gasps> Should we go looking for fishies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Hi, boy, fishy on the I have been really enjoying hand steering the boat because it's new, but I've just put the autopilot on and I'm just gonna monitor it and see how it goes and make sure it's still, you know, keeping it at the, at the right degree because it's had a lot of um, work done to it, I guess you could say. So, I, yeah, I just wanna see how this is going and see if we can rely upon it. Yosh has played around with the settings a little bit, so we'll see how it's going and so far it's so good, it's good. We're just a bit nervous about the autopilot because it's had a few operations. <laughs> Say them cause they 